Hey guys, what's up? It's Hobbs here, and today what I've got for you is how to install the improved chat mod for Minecraft uh, on a Macintosh or Apple computer. Uh, it's fairly simple, and I'm going to get right into it. The first step we need to do is go ahead and get the files uh, that we're going to be needing for installation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the Minecraft forums. Uh, the first one we're going to need is called Mod Loader. Uh, that's by Ruzugami, and there will be a link down there in the description for this as well as the other one. Um, but basically, this is necessary for all mods on a Macintosh, um, pretty much. Uh, the second one we're going to need is actually the improved chat. Um, you can get that from uh, WD. Uh, he's got a lot of other cool stuff, but what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to, as you can see here, copy and paste, movable cursor, clear chat history, um, and bind text to commands to keys, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of other stuff, but I won't get into it. I'm just going to go over how to install it. So um, what you're going to do is you'll click the link here. Uh, go ahead and wait for this to go and go ahead and download it. Uh, same thing with this one. Uh, you'll just go to the download area here. All right, click it, and uh, this one's got an ad uh, ad fly thing. Uh, it takes a while, but for the sake of this video, I've already gone ahead and downloaded them. So uh, we'll just skip past this once you have those. All right. So now that you have them downloaded, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, place them on my desktop, just so you can see. Alright, so here you have the improved chat uh, 2.4.3, that is for the 1.4 uh, underscore 1 um, beta, and then you have mod loader. So you're just going to want to unzip these, uh, like so. Alright, and then that's that simple. For this next step, what we're going to be needing to do is go ahead and go into terminal. Uh, if you don't know how to find terminal, uh, you can click the search or the spotlight up here and just type in TER and it should be one of the first things that comes up. All right, so now we've got uh, we've got terminal open, and this this next part is pretty simple. All you're gonna do is go back to that website that you downloaded Mod Loader from. All right, let me go back for a sec. So now that you're at that website, you're gonna scroll down. Or, yeah, one moment, please. Uh, here it is. Uh, right down here from the top of the page, underneath this uh, frequently asked questions thing, you'll see installation, which actually will go through the steps for you. But what you're going to do is, this is the first code you'll need. You're going to click select all, right click, copy. And then you're going to go ahead and go into terminal, and you're just going to paste and what that's going to do is that's going to bring a new folder into your finder um, so if you go to your uh, home or your user uh, now you have a new folder mctmp um, and that's what all your mods are going to be stored in so normally you just have all these and you wouldn't have that but it adds that to the um, to the the list of folders available so uh, you'll minimize that for now and next what you'll do is you'll open up each of these, select everything in it, and go ahead and drag it into the MCTMP folder. Um, I've already got all my stuff in here, so I'm not actually going to go ahead and do it for you. Um, but you get the gist of it. You're just going to, each of your mods that you want installed, you're going to drag all of the, uh, the stuff into it. So it would be the same thing for improved chat. Uh, you'd go ahead and select all this and then just drag it into MCTMP. So it's that simple. And then once you have that done, uh, you should be able to click it open. And you'll see all of your uh, your files that you've moved in there. Uh, you'll see the improved chat and there should be some base mod stuff. Um, these are your mods. And like I said, Unlike the Windows version, you're not going to mess with the jar whatsoever. That's what this this is job is. Is it's going to take the place of going in and editing the jar? Because um, if you mess with the jar on the Mac, it'll end up messing it up. Uh, so now that you've done that, you're just going to run the last code, which is real simple. You bring up the website again, and then the last code is below it. You hit select all, copy, 
go back into terminal and paste it and uh, it'll go ahead and do its thing um, you see it's uh, loading it all up here and when it gets to this point that means it's done so uh, if you followed these directions correctly uh, it should be ready to go and to test it out just click minecraft let it load up here All right. All right. So now that you're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this real quick. Uh, you just go into multiplayer. All right. And now that you're in multiplayer, you hit text and now if you can see normally you have a full bar there where your cursor is but now you have uh, two two dots uh, one on top of the other and what you can do is uh, type and now you're able to move between letters just by hitting the arrows uh, you can also uh, copy this so by doing uh, control C and then we'll go ahead and delete this and if I do control V now it puts it right back for you uh, which is simple because you can also pull out of um, other sources like the internet so say for some reason I want all this in there I just copy it go back into minecraft and I paste it all in there it's that simple it's real easy uh, another really cool feature of this is you can bind uh, keys so all you do is you're gonna type that bind You'll type the key that you want. Uh, for this instance, let's do Y, and then you, whatever you want it to say. So, say for instance, every time you hit Y, you want it to say, "Please don't grief." Uh, you do, "Please don't grief." Uh, just like that, hit enter. It'll tell you down there. You can see the key binding's been successful. And now every time you hit Y, "Please don't grief." So you can see there it's going to say, and you can keep hitting it all day long and you don't have to type it in and this is really useful when you have commands for example here on super earth I have the command jump to um, binded to my E so all I need to do is just press E and it teleports me or jumps to me It uses the command for me so it saves a lot of time it's really nice and easy um, here's R to my town spawn uh, it's real nice another thing that's cool about this is you can uh, scroll through your chat uh, to see what's going on all the way up in here because that gets annoying sometimes but um, that's basically the gist of it there's a lot of other features that you can do uh, I suggest checking out the uh, forum for those but that is basically how you install into uh, into minecraft um, thanks for watching um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and it helped you out uh, rate comment and subscribe and uh, I suggest you check out Super Earth. It's a, it's a pretty awesome uh, server. It's the one I play on. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently a trial mod there. Hope to become a moderator soon. Um, real, real, real well run. run. Uh, it's number one server for Minecraft. Um, there's, there's no comparison. So uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.